Alrighty, and this is just going to be some thoughts I've had on the Total War Warhammer game. Obviously, I, you know, I haven't been able to play it for myself. I can't. Uh, I'd love to be able to get a computer that can play it and do that on the channel, but, you know, I've talked about that on other videos. That's not what this one's about. about. But, of course, if you uh, would like to support the channel, subscribe, like the video, share it, all that stuff, watch other videos, that's always helpful. I am doing a Warhammer 40k meets Space Empires 5 uh, mishmash kind of mashup game campaign you can check out. But this is my thoughts on, these are my thoughts on uh, Total War Warhammer so far, as the placard plainly states. Just from watching Let's Plays and stuff. I'm not going to try and get into game mechanics and stuff, I can't really speak to that stuff too much. Uh, game mechanic wise the only thing that I can really comment on a little bit are some you know, the undead don't seem to play that much like the tabletop counterpart maybe it's just not possible to make them play like their tabletop counterparts they just it's just seems a bit odd to me the way the undead are playing in the game a bit too blitzkrieg really when uh, really the undead I don't know, maybe the Vampire Counts are more of a rushy type of faction. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll do more of, like, the, uh, just unstoppable undead horde when they do the uh, the Tomb Kings. I don't know. But that and some, some of the stuff with the magic system seems a bit odd to me. Like, at times it seems like it just doesn't do anything. Like, it has almost no impact at all on the battles. And to some degree, I understand you don't want it to be so overpowered that one spell can change the outcome of an entire battle, but at the same time, what's the point of having it if it isn't going to do something? So, you know, that's one of the things that always intrigued me when I watch, or does intrigue me when I watch battle reports. You know, like 40k even with the Psyker stuff or fantasy with spells. Sometimes one spell can seriously change the outcome of a battle. Sometimes they just make things a little bit harder on your opponent, a little bit easier on you. But sometimes, you know, they can just really make or break a battle. And for a faction like the Undead, who rely heavily on magic, it just kind of takes away what makes them them, in a lot of ways, to me. Whereas, you, have, you know, like the Empire, they use magic, but the, the Vampire Counts, and when they get to the Tomb Kings as well, they are magic. You know, that's just one of the things, and it kind of takes away from the flavor of the, the, the really magic-heavy factions, like the Undead. Um... So that, those are the only mechanic things that I've really kind of noticed that I had comment on, really. And maybe people who have been playing find that it's not uh, bad at all, I, it, like it's balanced maybe, I don't know. That's just my impression. So really what I'd like to talk about is what I'd like to see him do going forward. That's the main thing. Anything, things that I'd like to see him tweak maybe with what they've already got going on. Go, and just things I'd like to see him do a bit more with going forward. So the five factions we've got so far are the Orcs, the Dwarves, Empire, um... Chaos, and for some reason I cannot manage to keep all five of them in my goddamn head. I keep on spacing one of them off. Orcs, Greenskins, Dwarves, Vampire Counts, duh, just talking about them. Empire and Chaos, okay. The dwarves seem pretty damn solid to me so far. They seem to have pretty much everything they've got in tabletop, for the most part. Vampire counts, same thing. They actually seem to be pretty well fleshed out. There might be some units they could still have added to them. But, uh, oh. Yes, here we go with the bullshit again. For some reason, these people think they need to take ten passes to get one thing done. Uh, 
um, the orcs. I kind of like to see him do a bit more variety to the orc clans. I mean, it just it, the, the units are just a little homogenous. I think. So I mean, like going forward with DLC type stuff or free uh, d downloadable content. I'd like to see him flesh out the green skins a bit, you know, actually add in, like, the night goblins and the forest goblins as their own individual factions, flesh all that stuff out, just add some more flavor to it, some more individualism to the different factions, so they, they make them so they all kind of stand out a bit more from each other, just, you know, tweak it. The same thing with, like, the chaos area. You know, you start off going against all these northern uh, tribes, and they all have chaos units. Now, I don't know about the lore. I'm not an expert on the lore. I My interactions with Warhammer are casual. I'm not an expert, but it just seems odd to me that you start off, you're supposed to be coming down out of the chaos waste, and all the units you're facing are chaos units. It just seems really strange, like... I just I'd like to see him give those northern factions their own unit list, basically, just like a Nordic Viking type of uh, warrior uh, kind of thing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's not how it is in the lore in Warhammer itself. It just it just seems strange to me that they have chaos units. Uh, the Empire, I'd love to see him flesh out all the human factions. They've already included some Bretonia stuff, so going forward, I just with the DLC and free LC stuff, what I'd like to see him do is just add in the individual special units of the different sub-factions of the Empire. I'd like to, you know, the because the, Bretonia, even in tabletop, doesn't have a huge roster. It's pretty uh, much knights and men-at-arms, very standardized, but what they do have is a lot of heraldry. There's a lot of different little houses and knightly clan, or knight, knightly orders and all that sort of stuff. And you see that in the Empire, too. So all those, the knightly orders, all that heraldry from, from Bretonia, you know, obviously I want to see the Green Knight is one of the legendary lords of Bretonia. That would be awesome. So just adding in all that stuff would be great for all the DLC and free LC stuff that they're hopefully going to be doing. And I don't have a problem with DLC. I, I mean, I gamers to me can be so fucking whiny. Because it's like, did it cost them money to make all this shit? Yes. So why the hell are you whining and about spending a few dollars to buy it? Fuck off. They had to spend money to make it. You can spend a little bit of money to buy it and have access to it. Grow up. I don't know, gamers can be assholes. Big, really whiny assholes at times. I'm not saying if you have a legitimate gripe you shouldn't voice it, but still. Sometimes it's just whiny bullshit. And complaining about DLC is whiny bullshit. Especially if it's good content. So that's what I'd like to see him doing with that. For the next major release, because, I mean, it is kind of funny how they're doing it. I mean, it's not like like the Attila and then Age of Charlemagne is an add-on to it. It's like the second game is going to add to the first one, but also apparently be a kind of a standalone game itself as well. So it'll, it'll mainly come down to what factions are available to play. And, you know, it's just kind of odd how they're doing it. But I think they more or less did the Dawn of War games the same way. Every release added new factions, and for multiplayer, you could only pl play those factions if you bought each of the individual games. So, there is a precedence for this game release model. It's just a bit odd, especially with Total War, because I don't think they've ever done it quite like this before. But the factions that I'd like to see them add in, I I'm... I hope they're not going to. I imagine they'll probably do the elf factions. I hope they don't. Because we all know elves. Elves, elves. 
from, you know, and I don't have a problem with the Lord of the Rings comparisons and stuff. That's not the issue. It's just that we know them already. You know, we, we have experience with wood elves and high elves and dark elves. Not so much, but, you know, we still would recognize them as elves. And again, if even if they're, you know, I don't know that they're going to include the Chaos Dwarves as a faction. One would hope that since it's Warhammer Fantasy, they wouldn't just ignore them. Other than the Hellfire, the Hell, hell Cannons or whatever. Just like, oh yeah, we'll give them a little tip of the hat and that's it. Now, bring back the Chaos Dwarves. Let them be a faction. They're interesting. And different. You know, celebrate the things that make Warhammer Fantasy Warhammer. Don't discard them. And that's why the the ones that I want to see, the four, because it seems like they're going to do four or five per release. Yeah, they're doing three games. I think I looked it up. There's like 14 uh, factions that are cur currently in Warhammer Fantasy, or that were current before uh, end times stuff. So, you know, they could do five, five, and four, or something like that. But the four that I'd love to see them do are the Skaven, Beast Men, Lizard Men, and the Tomb Kings. Because those are the ones that are really kind of unique to Warhammer. You know, it's like none of them are original. They've all been done various ways before. You know, like a lot of kid stuff as anthropomorphic rats. You know, um, Secret of Nim, that sort of thing. You know, and the idea of Lizard Men has been around a long time. B-movies and whatnot. Or dinosaur men, or whatever, and obviously mummies and stuff. The Tomb Kings, not original. The Beast Men are fairly original with the whole chaos thing. It's just, but the thing about them though is that they're not common tropes or things that you find in fantasy. Not as entire races and factions and stuff. So it, those are the ones that I'd like to see them do next because they are unique, fairly unique to Warhammer in terms of being entire races and factions that actually have power and have armies and fight each other and stuff. And everyone else that's already in the game. So again, like I said, celebrate the stuff that's Warhammer. And also because I think out of all the expansions, this would require the least expan expanding on the maps. Because, you know, basically you're going into the, the desert, pardon me, the deserts of the Tomb Kings. And uh, I'm not sure where the lizard men live in Warhammer Fantasy, the ones that you commonly would play as. I know that there's a southern continent that's... Uh, has a, its own lizard men and other stuff going on. I don't know that they're expanding in that direction if they're going to make it quite that big. But that would be cool if they continue expanding it over time and add all that stuff in too. But if they're going to focus on the old world, then I'd like to see them do the lizard men and the tomb kings because it would require the least uh, map expansion so they could focus on fleshing out what they've already got in the game. I'd like to see more settlements. I'd like to see, again, the Beastmen, I think, would have to be uh, like a nomadic horde faction. You want to see little pockets of Skaven clans and stuff all over the place. You know, the Lizardmen in their area to start with, the Tomb Kings in their area to start with. So, I mean, you're adding some new stuff to the game, built on what's already, building on what's already there. You know, whereas, again, the elves, they're too familiar. You know, you'd have to do the entire forest, and I think for the high elves, they mainly live up in, like, around the ocean area, and the dark elves, too, up in the northern area, so you'd have to expand all the way out into the water. You know, they're not going to do naval battles, but it's still, you'd have to include, again, all this naval travel. So it just... Focus on what's already there, and mostly on the land factions to start with, and again, because these factions are ones that are very much Warhammer, as opposed to elves. That we all know elves already. 
So that's kind of where I'd like to see him go. The other one last thing that I'd love to see them do is Chaos Divided to start with. I'd like to see them start off with Chaos in instead of Chaos United. I'd like to see the different Chaos Gods as their own factions split up and then, you know, each with its own legendary lord or lords. You know, Slanesh would have Sigvald. Um, Kolek, was he affiliated with any one of them in particular? I think he might have been Korn affiliated. But, you know, because you, ha you have a Slanesh, a Nurgle, Korn, and Zinch. So you could have legendary lords for all four of them. And instead of it having to be Archeon that becomes the the Chaos Undivided leader, or he could always be, again, the faction leader, but you could actually have it to where instead of playing as him uniting Chaos into one faction, Chaos Undivided, you can use any of them to do it. So you start off, you know, expand, that would be the other map expansion I'd have to start with, is the Northern Wastelands of the Chaos the Chaos Ways, and Chaos Undivided, or Chaos Divided, rather. Just to add some more flavor and um, dynamics and all that good stuff to the Chaos play. Because as it is from what I've been seeing so far, it's you raid and raise and awaken tribes, and that's about it. And there's not a whole lot of dynamics, there's not a whole lot of um, nuance to it, whereas if you just adding that in the, that part where you have to start off by uniting the chaos factions all together under one banner before you can really go south, that would just add so much to the game for chaos. Just that one little thing, and I mean they wouldn't have to add in a whole lot of new units to some of the the the. the the individual Chaos Gods uh, unique units, and they don't have that many from what I remember. They have maybe like one or two uh, unique like types of demons and things each. So just little things like adding those in and then having it start off divided and then you have to unite it before you go south. Again, that would just add a whole new depth to the Chaos gameplay. And this, you know, because you already kind of have to do that with, as the Empire. You have to unite the Empire together uh, with all, as all these sub-factions that you have to unite before you're really the Empire. Until you're, you accomplish that, you're really just the Reichland. You know, and all those, again, with all the DLC and free LC stuff, bring in all the things like the Bear Cavalry and all those unique units that are individual are unique to the different sub-factions of the Empire. That's, you know, that's just kind of the stuff I'd like to see him do moving forward, so. Um, you know, what what would you like to see him do? And what do you think about my, the faction, my choices for factions I'd like to see him do? Would you rather see the Elves be the next uh, expansion you know what would you like to see him do just let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe and all that good junk and if you feel like helping out to with my uh my kind of my quest to get a new computer so i can start playing the game for um, for my channel uh, i will put some links in there i have an amazon it is an affiliate link so uh for a short period of time, if you buy anything on Amazon, I'll get a commission. And it's it's a uh, it's Dream List, a computer parts Dream List that I've put together. You can kind of check that out for amusement, if nothing else. If you like looking at computer lit, uh, you know, Dream Computer lists. Uh, I do T-shirts. Uh, I have a brand of T-shirts called Am Snarkist for those who am snarky. like anarchy yeah I, I hope you get it you am snarky yeah I am snarky because I want to be am snarky yeah so and snarkest t-shirts I do music 
so I'll have links to all that stuff, and of course you can always just check out my videos. Uh, you can also make a donation. I have to do it through my website and PayPal because I cannot get YouTube's thing to ever uh, finish loading for me. Don't have any problems with my status and everything on YouTube. It just would not go through for some reason. My connection wouldn't stay connected. I don't know what the problem was. But it'll just be a link down in the, the description for the video and all that good stuff. But again, you don't have to spend a dime. You can just watch some of my videos, like, share, and all that good stuff if you want to help. Or not. It's up to you. I'm just saying in case you want to. Um, so enough beating the dead horse. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.